Police stuff out the way. Yes, I am a Baltimore City police officer. Don't ask me after the show. Are you really a cop? Yes, I am. I know y'all hate the police. We hate y'all too. <laughs> I hate all of y'all. I ain't there to help none of y'all. I'm there for the benefits and the credit you get. I can't care less about your safety. I hate all of y'all. Matter of fact, I want y'all to do me a favor. Y'all get drunk tonight. Everybody can drink as much as you want tonight. Y'all get drunk. I want y'all to get drunk on me. Get drunk. Because after the show, I'm going to go to the bathroom, put my uniform on, and pull all your ass over. <laughs> Damn cop. <laughs> it's all being a cop, boy. But you understand, I hate being a cop. I don't help nobody. It's too strange. I don't help no. I don't even have fellow police. Mm -hmm. He got my officer down. Like that means something to me. He down. I'm up. <laughs> I got round the radio. What's the location? Can I even run through that stuff by accident? <laughs> but the, where's the suspect? He said the suspect is still at large. What's your location? I'm like, on watch the news. I ain't coming outside. <laughs> He's too dangerous. No, that's crazy. I know one thing, the white cops and black cops are different. I love white police. White police are the best police to have in your neighborhood. I'm gonna tell you right now, because they love their job. Oh, they, oh, they love it. They, they, they think their job's serious. They do. White police will show up to the call before the call even come out. <laughs> 1123, 1123. I got a black male, 10 fold already here. <laughs> you try to get a black cop respond like that, that'll never happen. 1123. 1123, 1123, 1123, we do this shit every week. 1123, 1123. They gotta call his cell phone. Hello, who this? This is Fan Angie Damn Radio. Let me call you back. This man's calling me. Oh, that was hard being a cop in Baltimore City. I'll tell you one thing, though. I love being a cop. But one thing I don't do, and I'm not racist, I, I'm not, I do not pull black people over. I refuse to pull black people over. I don't. If you white, I pull you over every day, all day. Not because I'm racist, it's because I noticed something. Well, white people got something that black people don't have. Their registration. I don't know what black people need their registration. You ask a black person for a registration, they look at you like you asked for a credit report. What the hell? Is it in my car? Oh, the goddamn registration. <laughs> oh, that's the glove compartment, everything. Fall out baby shoes, burger meal, everything. <laughs> that belongs in the car, what's that? Oh, I've been a guy, boy. Y'all need to stop complaining about crime in Baltimore. Y'all trying to say, well, why crime so bad in Baltimore? Why can't y'all do something about it? I'm explaining to y'all right now. It is not that we don't want to do something about the crime in Baltimore. We limit it. Y'all know Baltimore is in a recession. We are broke as hell. You don't believe me? Y'all look, look at our police cars. We got the most raggedy ass police cars you will ever see in your life. You know your police car raggedy when you pull somebody over for a violation on their car, and your car got the same damn violation. <laughs> Pulling y'all out of excuse me, sir. Your head, I'm like, come on, yours too, officer. <laughs> and your windshield crack. I'm like, you're right, I can't stand that car. That car won't give me a ticket. <laughs> we are broke. I didn't realize how broke Baltimore was, but over there, how you run out of crime scene tape? <laughs> Somebody got shot and killed over there. We had to put happy birthday streamers right now.
It's funny because I don't like doing that joke because I'm people like, oh, you gay man. The only thing about being out, I don't care if you gay, straight, if you gay, you don't love be gay because there's gay people everywhere and I had no problem with them. They gave me a gay police partner one time. And then I was mad he, he was gay. That's why I was mad. He didn't tell me he was gay. This is how I found out he was gay. By the way, he's going to describe a stuff back on the radio. I'm looking for a black male, wavy hair, mocha skin, hazel eyes, and a chill chill.